Did we did we see the entry yet? Hey everybody, my name is Mayhem! I'm Jitsu. And today we're back with another episode of Bloodborne! Last time we were going through all through this place. And then hopefully now Jinsu knows and remembered the way oh. to get in to do wherever the next spot is. But first he's just gonna murder these people in wheelchairs. Gonna... Completely innocent people. Look at their work! Their innocent work on the tables over there. The operating table. <laughs> Hey, Dude blew out the head of his dick, man. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Uh, wow! I can, I can see right into his lower intestine. <laughs> <That's awful. laughs> this Got man it. this man was sounding. This dude was a plague doctor. Yeah. What do you think about the plague doctor mess? Um, I find it hilarious that uh, it's not the actual original mask. Yeah, the, the original one looks so goofy. What about you, Jinsu? What, about, what do you like about the design of the Plague Doctor Mask, or do you not like it at all? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. I, I think I think it's it's nice when paired with crows. Yes. Ew. Oh, yeah. nice oh no, that. Lady Sorry. Maria! I, I would love if we somehow got a mod for Lady Maria when we finally get to her, that it's our it's just scissor age-slash combination. <laughs> <laughs> our Pokemon fusion. Where did one guy go? Uh, he's probably on his way back trying to kill you, but who's to know? So, so yeah, uh, Mayhem, you basically just described another reason why people are begging, begging that this gets ported to the PC. Oh, God, yeah. It won't happen. It I literally know, it won't, won't ever happen. It, it won't ever happen. Because Sony's but, a coward. But, man, if it did, could you imagine the number of memes that would come out of this? Everyone would be playing the fuck out of this game if... I, I would finally play through it and not just the Ludwig fight. <laughs> <laughs> and then we could do we could do seamless call Bloodborne. Oh, and then this game would be a forever game. Remember when we tried doing the same the seamless call for Dark Souls three and it just wasn't happening. It just was not gonna work. It's so weird. That seamless call. Oh, oh, oh yeah, man. this is the place you need to go. This is where you need to go. Go there. Because because Duke, this is the only game that has the internal mechanic of when you hit somebody back after they hit you, you get your health back. Ah. That's called the rally. Ow! Like, you see how the white goes up every time he gets the hit, and now his health is back up there now? Oh, uh, so that's what that whole orange little bar that pops up is? Yes. Yeah. This is the okay. only game that does that. The other one, Elden Ring has a boss thing that, like, if you defeat a boss and use their ability, you'll have that ability. But it's like a, it's more temporary than how internal and integral it is to Bloodborne. There's a ladder. Would you like to climb the ladder? <laughs> but yeah, so that's why Bloodborne is also considered like really good because it focuses more on speed. You counter with the gun. You hit people after you've been hit. It's just all Makes around. Makes it sound like this game is a little more forgiving. A, a little bit more. <sighs> But but because but no. you I have one this. shield and it's terrible. <laughs> I was gonna say in comparison to other uh, from software games. Yeah. No, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say it's more lenient or. Fuck, what did you say? Uh, forgiving. Forgiving. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's more forgiving. It's just different. It just wants to. It wants you to go about it differently. Uh, from your guys' reactions previously, is Sekiro the one that's more or that's le way less forgiving? Sekiro is. It's a whole other horse. Yeah, it's a whole other thing. It's basically you look at Dark uh, Dark Souls and Bloodborne. And it's like they're their own horse, and then you look at Sekiro, and it's a fucking Ahakopi. It's like a it's like a Venn it's like a Venn diagram where like Dark Souls and Elden Ring are one circle, Sekiro's in the other circle, and the middle is Bloodborne. Would you agree with that, Jinsu? Taken. It a Venn diagram. So one circle is Dark Souls and Elden Ring. The other one is Sekiro and. The combined circle part is is Bloodborne. Nah. Uh, oh, how would you do that? Ooh. Uh, if I were to put in a Venn diagram. Yes. Uh, um. Also, put it, to put in a Venn diagram. Here's every From Software game. Here's uh, Sekiro way off in the distance. <laughs> yeah, because Sekiro doesn't really function like a normal soul. Like it does, but it's not like. It's the least. It's the least souls like. I would I would argue. But it's, what's it, the it, difference? You're an actual character. You're a specific character. This, okay. the, the game, your specific character, you can't customize your character. Um, the game is about the specific story. Um, you have one sword. You have, yeah, you only have the one weapon. But it you sounds get, you, like a linear version of 
uh, the usual from software games. Oh shit. Good thing those bullets all hit him. Wow. <laughs> that was hilarious. Oh god. They're, they're, wait, they're stopping. Yeah, at the stairs. Because he, he doesn't account for stairs. Well, that makes oh, sense. He accounted for stairs! Ow. He accounted for stairs! <laughs> he counted upwards for he, stairs. <laughs> he's good at elevation, not de-elevation. Oh, it's this guy again. <laughs> Remember, this guy got you last time. Oh my god, I did no damage then. But yeah, but like, Sekiro is like, it's more of like a linear, like, it's the most like a Sony exclusive. Oh my god. It's like, it's the most like a Sony exclusive g game that isn't a Sony exclusive. Ah! Ooh. And it still hit you somehow. That didn't carry? Yeah, that didn't do it. I don't think this guy can be, uh, shot out of it. <laughs> I'm sorry, was he hitting you with a fucking IV? Yes. Yes. Because he was a patient. And he's a little crazy. Everybody was a patient here. When is this game supposed to be set? Eighteen hundreds Victorian era, with blood, which sorceries, whichever era started having guns more regularly. Flintlock. Flintlock. Wood. Flintlock wood. Flintlock firearms. I was gonna say I started getting confused of like it, it looks like it seems like so near medieval but like with a bit of mix of like uh, turn of the century. It's like oh, <laughs> I hated that. It's a crow. <laughs> it's, a crow. It, it's a crow baby. We've I, seen those. Look at I the rat. Hate, I hate that a lot. Look at the rat. Okay, I got it. Oh, work. there's a thing! There's, there's a thing! thing. I turn, but there's other stuff I might want to get. No, just roll item. into it. Roll into it. Ro no! <laughs> <laughs> this is reminding me of a specific place tower in... Oh. Sound of water. So in his brain is nothing but... Water, liquid, brain fluid, uh, just sloshing all over his I head. I hate that so much. And he's trying to break it. Uh, yeah, these poor, these poor creatures. Oh, Ow. It's that fuck you up. <laughs> Ow. I no longer feel sympathy. Death. <laughs> I hate to say, yeah, I don't feel. Ooh. Bloodstone chunk. We're going to death. There's a lot of points in this game where it's like, oh, don't you feel bad for this thing? And I sit here and I go, no. Yeah, th that's the whole message of Dark Souls. Man, isn't it sad that this thing exists? You should kill it. <laughs> Give it mercy. Release it from its suffering. Because what else are you going to do? Let it live? Oh, okay, we're going up, I guess. Yeah, we got to get to the top. Wow. I thought it was going to turn the thing in this right staircase. Up, <laughs> <laughs> go beyond the rickety bridge. Can I put this back down? Or no. am I stuck here? That's the part of the puzzle. Okay. He jumped. <laughs> no, don't do. Oh, okay. No, don't do it, Mr. Bird. Uh, okay, he did anyway. That way? Yeah. I tried to tell my therapist what? about my life. That is just a brain. My, ther <laughs> my therapist turned into Ladder. a collection of bats and they hung themselves. Do you know how difficult that is for bats? <laughs> Kick down ladder right there. <laughs> Where? <laughs> left. Other left. There you go. That's my right, you dipshit. I should have <laughs> said camera left. <laughs> Genuinely my favorite, uh, probably one of my favorite uh, people to watch. Like, every video I've seen of him has been so fucking entertaining. Of Brendan Lee Mulligan. He writes shit like Bloodborne while playing it in such a way that it either freaks you out or makes you lose it laughing. He, he makes the world of Bloodborne and has you play it like Monty Python. <laughs> Yeah, run away! <laughs> Just better flesh. <laughs> <laughs> they move fast and then have like huge startup in the rooms. I hate these ah, guys. I need more air space. I feel no sympathy. Yeah, they're, they're already long gone. They're already, they're a lost cause. Oh, what is happening? Why is the lock on doing this? <laughs> hey, no you, I know that you're about to swing no towards sympathy, this other no enemy. No sympathy, no sympathy. I know that you're about to swing towards this other enemy. Do you want to lock onto this guy behind you who's not even knowing that you're there? <laughs> Do you want to lock onto this guy who's. Who's who the camera can't even look at? Oh, who knew this guy? Who knew this guy? <laughs> Wait, try the the one on your left. Yeah, that. Which but like, uh, I was gonna say the same way that this game freaks me out on occasion is the same Ooh. way that I feel with some of the like, it, like especially the monologues that fucking Brendan Mulligan goes on. Mimic? Ah, there are hoping. no there are no mimics in this game. Ah, thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. So true blessing. You don't know how lucky you have it. <laughs> Everybody who plays Elden Ring. <laughs> uh, I was going to mention an easy example when they had a game where uh, Brendan was actually one of the players. And uh, it was basically Harry Potter. 
uh, but this is a new place. But they were like nearly full grown, like it, like I would say upwards sixteen, seventeen. The actual adults Be of the air of the franchise. Oh, oh they're headless. Oh, like is sixteen, seventeen year olds being sent to Hogwarts? Is them being headless better or worse for you, Duke? Well, they can't see, <laughs> so I can just do that. I. Can I can just find the thing very easily, neck being the I, very accessible place. <laughs> I can just shove my hand up its ass and puppeteer it like a little guy. <laughs> Kill the, that man. He's dead. How did he die? Uh, Mayhem, to answer your question about that one, it makes no difference to me. They're all horrible. <laughs> <laughs> They're all brutally horrifying. Like, uh, oh, oh someone's one, coming for me. Uh -oh. like, like, seriously, you're asking the question Woo! of which one do I find more horrifying? The one where... <gasps> <laughs> that one. There you go. <laughs> that was a guy. That was a hundred percent a guy. Oh, is this a skip? Oh, I would love if this is a skip. This is a skip. Yes. Because I want to use my runes. No. My blood echoes. Oh, oh Simon. Hey. Wow. A blo a from software character telling me to go murder? What a surprise! Yeah, the the How did this guy die the first time? The te the giant stairs whacked him when it was going when it was lowering. I bet it was that hunter over there. Oh yeah. I just remember losing it because the fucking French guy is just like, no, this is for prestige. I'm going I to uh, become very notable for having uh, beat you. Wait, that's Fine. actually that's super unrealistic. The French man didn't surrender. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's gonna, bitch. oh, he's he's gonna death you. But uh, so he goes in, he gets ready to fight, and the moment he gets into the fight, Brennan throws the motherfucker into hell and like has him suffer like the worst experience that you could ever imagine and pulls him out of hell and goes for prestige <laughs> <laughs> all right uh, you got it you got it you got it ow <laughs> ow you my health like bitch oh shit oh shit those are my health like no turtle talisman no turtle talisman yeah it's not in this game <laughs> That's so good. You're so you're so you're so indebted to the to the turtle talisman. Because then it lets me dodge sooner. <laughs> yeah, I just brought that up because like the number of times I look at Bloodborne, Ooh. like in a very similar light of. Where like, are you going? Uh, I'm out of here. No, you're gonna kill me. No. <laughs> considering the freakiest dodge I've ever seen is still uh, Resident Evil. I don't want to go that way. <laughs> that that you, you guys have seen that clip right of just like. From Resident Evil, where oh god, uh, these guys are naked. Where's he going? Okay, they are goodbye. <laughs> What's the name of that one fucking boss? Uh, is it one? The, uh, there's a lot of Resident the Evil. Dude, it's it's the dude in the trench coat, basically. Okay. Hey. Oh, Nemesis. No, Nemesis. Nemesis. Hard mode Nemesis, where he, you fire a rocket at him and he can dodge it. And then insert <laughs> the insert the clip of the dude fucking screaming. Yep. That's my reaction right there. Ooh, blue elixir. No, that's the whole moment was was horrifying. No, that's lore. That's completely different. <laughs> <laughs> Aspects of flip -flop, flip -flop, game. Flip flop, flip flop, flip flop, flip flop. Is you? Hello. It's you. Lady Maria, Father Robin. Batman. <laughs> I'm not a bad nutsack. Slurp. Batman. <laughs> yeah, this, is, this is the Dark Souls slime. It's yeah, like... it's the Dark Souls slime. Ooh, I think that, I can... Yeah. I can... A new boss. Thumbnail! I have failed! <laughs> it makes you think that it's gonna be a Lady Maria? Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Put on a hat. Put on a hat. It's not Lady Maria, shut up. Put on a hat. Yeah, as long as it's if not it is Lady, Lady Maria, Maria, I'll turn around. <laughs> See, it's not Lady Maria. What it's the, the fuck? It's the failure. living failures. Oh, it's these! It's this boss! Oh! These guys are weak to thrust and bolt damage. So I'm just gonna. The, the inspiration for the page. Demogorgon design in Stranger Things. Really? Look at it! I thought the Demogorgon was based on. Hell. Yeah, that one's dead. Wow, it's that one is dead. And look how much damage, how much damage to the boss bar that he did. I wonder how much more of this fight we have left. <laughs> cool, he missed. Ow. Ow. Ooh, he got you. Someone had a spirit bomb. <laughs> that is 
the slowest uh, spirit bomb I've ever seen. Actually, it's the fastest because it took like a, a few seconds to charge up. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> you <laughs> ow. Cool, he got hit by his own magic explosion thing. I think there's gonna be like a fuck. There's a move that fires meteors. That sucks. I've never beaten this boss, by the way. <laughs> oh. What? We can learn. We can do it. It's better, faster, stronger. Dead. Er. <laughs> I do again. Are these people that look? They look like they've either been experimented on or they're aliens. They're living yes. failures. Okay. It's both. <laughs> I was actually about to ask if it was both. Also sunflowers. Ow, sunflowers. They're aliens with their heads removed, like the other guys that we saw earlier with their heads removed. Okay, but genuinely, why though? Because this game wants to instill any amount of emotion oh into you at all times. Time to heal. I'm so oh, glad you get so many Oh, okay. Hello, sir. I love it. I love it. I love How are you doing, screen, sewer? motherfucker. <laughs> Uh oh. So you said you never beat this. Oh, they're doing the meteor attack. Oh. Oh. What are you supposed to do? That's a good question. Running, running, ah! <laughs> sprinting. Ah, oh, I'm dead. Deading. And then after these guys is Lady Maria. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> now, forgot to do this. An enjoyable experience. Oh, I do less damage. Oh, wait. Oh, that's cool. That was... Oh, yeah, that's a thing, too, is that they, they're they really detailed on things, where it's like you use the very wrong thing against a boss, it will be your death. You... These things are Look so... Look how much damage that does. Yeah. <laughs> See, there you go. Uh-oh. Uh -oh, uh -oh, that... Uh-oh. Arcane move. Arcane move. Magic move. Magic move. Magic fucking... Move. Magic bullet. That's falling stars, what the fuck? That's literally an Elden Ring spell. That's magic missile. That was not magic missile. Oh, you're right. It missed. <laughs> Hello, mister. You like being- you want to be the I, aggro one today? I, I remember telling you that oh, for God. the first time, but just like, like, oh, so it's kind of like magic missile. It's like, no. Magic missile, the entire point of it is, it doesn't miss. The entire point of magic missile oh, is just God. like, okay, I cast magic missile. Okay, roll for damage. Oh. Oh. Oh god, and the explosion. Oh. Here goes! You're not locked onto the uh, with Oh, there's oh. falling stars again. You think we're still gonna play uh, Baldur's Gate? We should. We really should. I don't know how we haven't already. <laughs> space. Computer space. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We just, uh, actually, it doesn't sound like a bad idea of, like, still work on the Elder Ring stuff, but, uh, we play Baldur's Gate first. Let the DLC come out, let the seamless call up mod get updated, and then do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, tried rolling past that. So basically, once we finish Bloodborne, then we can do Baldur's Gate. Interesting. What an interesting path. We went from <laughs> Metroid to Bloodborne <laughs> to Baldur's Gate to Elden Ring. <laughs> yeah. It's not too far off. And then you guys, both of you guys can play, and I played it already, so I'm going to be like, hey. <laughs> Hey. Meanwhile, I sit back min-maxing the fuck out of my, uh... No grinding off screen! <laughs> I didn't say that. I just said that I would min-max. <laughs> you bet you know you wanted to. You know you wanted to. Don't, don't worry, don't. I'll be working toward the Druid Bear Sex ending. That's not an ending. It is. The moment we get it, I'm ending. <laughs> because I don't finished. Worry. <laughs> I was gonna say that! Fuck! There was nothing else I was gonna say that would have helped. <laughs> the story may not know. be climaxing, but I am. They're all. They're all. Let me speak. No one's stopping you. <laughs> I'm not a big is. fan of the living failures. <laughs> oh no! You bitch. I'm not a big fan of the meteorite. Ow! Oh. Why did they do so much damage? It's a rack! It's gonna do this. Kind of horse shit. Oh! Uh, you! Okay, so whenever one. So whenever they start doing that attack, just kill one and then start dodging away. <laughs> the 
this game makes me sad. Like, there are moments of it makes me angry, and sometimes when it makes ah. me sad. What about when the part where earlier where it made you laugh? It gives me many emotions, <laughs> and I hate all of them. Isn't that the premise of a perfect game? You feel more than just one emotion? No. <laughs> it gives me many emotions, and I hate all of them. That's not good. <laughs> And I feel uh, negative about it. <laughs> I'm stressed the fuck out. You got it, you got it, you got it. I feel negative about laughing, I feel negative about feeling Oh, oh you got bombed in the back. Let I feel be negative known. about feeling horny. What? Huh? <laughs> you. He, Come on, it's he, like he's been Maria. alive too long. This living failure has been alive for too long. Take it out of context. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're doing it. Kill him, kill him, kill him. There you go. Now run! You're gonna get got. You're gonna get got. You're gonna get got. Oh god. They're going from there. From there? <laughs> oh. Aww. You... Hey, but you survived yes, it! Yes, yes, yes! You did survive it. Get ready to get bombed. Okay, but I only have one hit left in me. Son of a bitch! I'm, Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sweating, man. I'm sweating. You got it. You're good. You're good. You're good. Remember, you don't have to kill one in order to do damage. You just need it. You just need to do enough damage to all of it. So get in, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Fuck you. You know, oh, they're doing it. Oh, get, 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 get. There you go, there you go, there you go. There's another one, another one. There's one more. Come okay. on, motherfucker. Oh, God. Go in, go in, go in, go in. Space oh, ball you. rocks. Get it, get well, it, get it. Well, it's coming at a certain angle, so that'd be perfect. Die! No! No! Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Oh, my God. But the theory that the Elden Ring DLC is going to be really good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and the boss is going to be the hardest. Oh, that did 500 damage. Youchers! Oh, that God. flail did that much damage? Ah! And then it knocked me down so I can't fucking get up. Oh, fuck this game sometimes. <laughs> yeah, the hitboxes are a little too accurate. Okay, now there's a lot of them. I say you always just stick with the Whirly Gig right now, because that did really good. You knocked him out of the dirt that he implanted himself into. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, uh, what, did, what did I do wrong? <laughs> I said bless you. Oh, okay, I guess I just heard you wrong. Wait a minute! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it, uh, vile creatures. Would you rather have longer arms or longer legs? Longer arms. Be monkey man. Longer legs. <laughs> Be, be finally six foot. <laughs> <laughs> no, longer legs, shorter walks, Short, shorter steps, better pizza. Have a day. Mm. Japapon. Japapon? Who's Japapon? What's your favorite pizza joint? I don't know. They're all pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> DiGiorno, my place! <laughs> like, they, they all have their own quirks about them. I like all of them. I like how, once again, we're dealing with a terrifying boss, and Duke is talking, thinking about pizza. Yeah, 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 I don't appreciate it, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I'll move away from it, I'll move away from it. You're talking about food right now. I'm talking about food, and I still got an hour before I can eat. <laughs> <laughs> he mentioned Papa John's! <laughs> you guys have been talking about food this entire time. Go ahead. Fine, let me think about slime. I asked you if you wanted longer arms and legs. That's a food way to do this. Fine, I'll think about long, slender legs. <laughs> Legs that I would definitely take a bite out of. <laughs> anyway, some thick thighs. How about Mirko from uh, My Hero Academia? Oh, oh, no, uh, no uh, stop uh, it. Uh, uh, Which way the mirror is coming? Uh, right there. See, there you go. See, they're all coming from that way. You can kill this guy. Oh, never mind. Yeah. Now I'm going to kill him. See, Jitsu, you don't got to worry about that. Dodge! <laughs> oh. I don't have any stamina. It's okay, he overshot it. <laughs> <laughs> He really thought that you were six foot there, but you were five eleven. <laughs> oh, little baby man! Ow. 
I said, well, I wonder if I can hit multiple of them and it'll do more damage. Probably not, right? And no, maybe, but but it's probably Dude, good. Just projectile it, person in the back it's who good. thinks I forgot about him. <laughs> Run! <laughs> it's good to not double up. Oh, they're doing it again. Let's see where they go. Uh, let's see right there, and then get behind the thing for me. Ooh, oh, hi, hi guys. They're lined up. Yeah, these hitches hit are lined up. Yeah. Watch out. Yeah. <laughs> what a dumb bitch. Okay, so it seems to me... I can't believe the, the big meteor move that would kill me every time I fought these, but oh my god, I almost comboed. You can't believe that uh, you finally figured out how to make it not hit Tree. you ever? <laughs> but here's the thing, Jitsu. You didn't figure it out. Uh, we figured it <laughs> <laughs> See, all you needed was two dumbasses ringing in your ears. You know what, this guy's sunflower. This guy's Uh oh! <laughs> Uh oh, it's falling stars, falling stars! <laughs> oh jeez, oh my god. There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. Hey, can you guys do the attacks that we know how to dodge now? <laughs> now, th now they're never going to do it again because oh. you know. Uh, I'm scared. Okay. That, that's also a thing that seems to happen when you're fighting bosses in this game, in these games, Duke. Is that sometimes when you figure out a specific attack that the boss does, somehow the boss knows that you figured it out and no longer does that attack. Ah. There you go, you go, you go, you go. And you got that one. You got, yeah, you got, you got. I was just checking <gasps> the phone real quick to see what time it was. Uh, it's uh, 6.34 right now. You did, did. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's not an hour, God, it's just 30 minutes. <laughs> You're good, you're good, you're good. But, uh, no, I was checking my focus. I was yeah. like, oh, I wonder what time it is. And first thing I see, just a little bit of... Yay! Yeah! Yeah! Finally! Yeah. Holy shit, I've never beaten that boss before. <laughs> Congratulations, Jinzu. A bit of levity that made me laugh is the first thing I see is, uh, just, uh, that artist uh, that I commissioned, Cran, answering the question, like, oh, what's the longest uh, gaming session you ever had? 12 hours. What game was it? Pokemon Conquest. <laughs> I beat it all in 12 hours. Good lord, man. No one should subject themselves to that game for that amount of time at once. I think my, yeah, longest, I was just saying. my longest gaming session was my longest 20, 24 hours of me trying to catch a Heracross in, in, in Heart Gold and Soul Silver because God. the RNG just would not give me a fucking Heracross for yeah. 24 hours. Yeah, damn. What do I want to get? My longest one is just whenever a Destiny expansion comes out and I just play for literally the entire day. I've, <laughs> I've tried to shiny hunt so many times and never gotten a single shiny through shiny hunting. Yeah. I always randomly come, uh, come upon one. Uh, that That's why I don't... That's why I completely, like, check out on trying to do anything shiny related because it's just like... I know that it's going to be literally almost impossible to get it, so... Just don't worry about it. If one shows up, great. If not, then I have my team. I'm fine. 20. You got 20. Yeah. <laughs> I'm now imagining a game where they call the currency system. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he got a spare. <laughs> I think usually what ended up being my longest gaming sessions is whenever I would get a new game that... I was like, oh, I really like this franchise. I'm going to finish it now. And now. I just started playing it and finished it like two to three days later at most. I'm going to spurge all at once. <laughs> like, usually it was the Pokemon games. Yeah. I would play them for like the first like two, three days and then just finish it. I, I usually stop myself after like a certain amount of time where I'm just like, okay, I should stop. Because if, especially if it's an action game where it's just like, I'm going to be worse if I don't stop myself i finish it and usually i end up checking the time of just like okay how long did that take and it's usually like 24 hours total of just like me playing <laughs> going around and it's only been like three days since i started playing it god damn i would only get to 24 hours in like five days what what, what is this what yeah. is this 
I haven't picked up the switch in a long time, but um, if you check. Oh shit! This is it. Yeah. yeah. All right. Boss fight. Oh my god. Fight. We will do this next time. Yeah. Thank you everybody so much for watching. If you liked it, subscribe for more, and we'll catch you next time with a very specific boss battle against the one, the only Lady Marie. What? <laughs> no, was it Scizor? Scizor. <laughs> hey, the Caesar Aegis, Aegis Lash. Lash. Yes. Also known as Lady Maria. I'm totally not gonna let Duke or. Er, I'm totally not gonna let Mayhem play this light and do the same thing we did last time. What? <laughs> Alright. Bye! Bye! I feel like there's something I'm forgetting. <laughs> oh no! <laughs>